tonight and let me find you and sing Psalm 11 um, and also Psalm 91 and sing it over you so as you get on tonight um, say hello let me know where you're watching from and these Psalm 11 is an incredible Psalm of David and hello Shelly hello I don't know, how do I say, Diva, Diva, D-L-I-V-Y-A, hello Marie, uh, hey, do me a favor, press your share button um, so we can get these psalms out. I love to sing the psalms because I believe what Hebrews 4 says, that the word of God is alive and full of living power, so I just believe, and hello, um, hello, Marie, and hello, how do I say M-A-R, Maluta? Hello, Nancy from Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, press your share button so that Psalm 11 can go out, and um, hello, Shelly. If you need prayer tonight, write down how I, I can pray for you. I want to sing over you from Psalm 11 and Psalm 91. I might throw in Psalm 3 if it doesn't get too late. I love to sing word for word from the scriptures because um, the word of God is alive and full of living power. And I just believe what they say that they will do. And hello, Michelle. Hello, Diane. Hello, Melody. So let me know if you need a prayer request. If you have a prayer request, every, every time I get on, I have several uh, friends I'm praying for. Number one, I'm praying for my neighbor. Uh, I'm praying for my neighbor, Nancy, who is fighting this war with cancer. I'm fighting, I'm praying and singing over Noah, a 15-year-old boy fighting this cancer disease and we want it gone i'm praying for a five-year-old boy named jacob fighting cancer i'm praying for my brother jeff just uh fighting diabetes i hate that disease so if you need healing in your body and hello karen my friend it's good to see you and michelle we are fighting along with you tonight um I might just throw in Psalm 30, also a great psalm of faith. It's a psalm of healing. I believe that the Word of God is powerful and it is alive. And when I sing word for word from the Bible, and I'm singing some from the New Living Translation and some from the Passion Translation, that these words are alive and they will go forth. They don't just you know, stay in this little room, but they're powerful and they go forth from me to wherever you are in the earth. And hello, Claudia and Sarah. Yes, we're praying for your, we'll pray for you, Sarah, your teeth, your gums in Jesus' name. Hello, April. It's good to see you. Hello, Anne. Um, but I just believe that the Bible, it goes forth. And it's impossible to keep the Holy Spirit in this little room right here so that when I sing these words that are straight from the Word of God, that they go forth from these pages out of my mouth 
to wherever you are in the earth, wherever you are tonight, that these words will go forth, they will go out and strike your heart and heal your body and touch your body, touch your mind. Whatever you are struggling with tonight, I believe that the Word of God is alive and full of living power. And I love to sing that David wrote it down so we could sing it out. And the very same God that rescued and healed and comforted David is the very same God who will do the same do the same for us because he's the same yesterday today and forever our God is the same I like to look back I like to look back at the Word of God at what David wrote down and I like to see how God worked in David's days because he's that powerful and he's gonna do the same thing today so God bless you Melody and Vicki and Judy and April. Psalm 11 is a psalm of David. And David wrote this psalm when he was still working in Saul's court. But his friends begin to notice that it was not well. And they could feel the friction between Saul and and his men and David and they began to say to David run just flee like a bird get out of here and, and they begin to say hide yourself and for whatever reason in Psalm 11 David said no because the Lord is my hiding place and wherever he is that's where I'm gonna stay and it's actually called the Song of the Steadfast because David used the song to sing his heart to being steadfast before God. And it's one of those things if, if you know, all of your friends are saying, you got to do this, you got to do this, but in the core of your soul and your heart, you know, no, I, it, it's not time to run. No, God is... If God is here, then the safest place I can be is where he is. Because I have made the Lord my only hiding place. That's what David sang. So I want to sing that over you tonight. If you need healing in your body, I don't believe that I have to just sing a psalm of healing. I believe that whatever psalm is being sung, that those words go forth and they heal what they need to heal and they strengthen what they need to strengthen. And I feel like the Lord wants to strengthen hearts tonight, weary hearts. He wants to encourage you just like he did David. And I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for healing just like, just like David cried out for healing. I'm going to pray that over you tonight. And I thank you, God, that you are a healing God. Judy, you need to hear from him. I believe you're going to hear from the Lord tonight, even through these songs, because they are the living word of God. They are alive. They will go forth, and I believe you're going to hear what you need to hear. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, healing for a heart con condition, we lift that up. Hello, Cindy. Mm. Psalm 11. If you like these psalms, uh, I invite you to check out our link into the river.net where we are singing our way through the psalms. We have uh, recorded Psalm 1 through Psalm 51, and we just recorded Psalm 91 for this season we're in. 24 7 radio, just word for word soaking in the Psalms with weekly Bible studies so we can bring the Psalms into our everyday life and live like David did. Mm. So check that out. Psalm 11, Psalm 11. Hello, Sassy. 
Hello, Diane. Psalm 11, Psalm 11. I press your share button, and I want to get these psalms out because they're powerful. Da-da-da. Thank you, God, for the psalms of David. We could sing these out, God. We could sing these loud, God. And the very same God that rescued.
This was before all, you know, David would, David actually did leave and flee the king's palace. But this was at the beginning of when everything was getting stirred up. And David says, no, 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 I'm not going to leave because the Lord's right here. And right here, I'm going to shelter because wherever he is, that is my safe place. And I want to tell you tonight, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you are facing, Right where you are, there is God. And right where you are, that is where he's going to meet you. But this is so beautiful because David writes, So I lift my eyes to the Lord, and here is faith. Right here is faith among the chaos, amongst the this feeling of murder when David is in the king's castle. He says, right here is faith. Beloved, wherever you are, whatever you go are going through, the Lord says he's with you as a shelter, as a hiding place. And right there in the midst of the, not when the chaos is over, but in the middle, David says, right here is faith. And he says, and confidence in times of testing, it's right here that I'm going to see your face. And I'm telling you, whatever you're going through, April, Michelle, we're fighting for you. Noah, we're fighting with you. But it, 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 it doesn't, David doesn't write when the testing's over and it's all said and done and we're all rescued. No, he says, I'm going to lift my eyes to the Lord in the middle of chaos, in the middle of this hurricane, in the middle of this tsunami. I'm going to lift my eyes to the Lord and right here is faith. And right here I have confidence in these times of testing. It's a time and a season of testing, and it's right here that I'm going to see the face of God. Right here, Terry, right here you're going to see the face of God. Alex, Celine, Michelle, you're going to see his face. You're going to see his kindness. And that, that, that is so, that's why I love Psalm 11, because it's not it, he, he, he doesn't rebuke the storm in this season and the storm just dissipate. No, he's, he walks right, he's in the middle of it. You know, he's in, really at the beginning of it. And bam, just, psh. he says, no, right, right here. I have confidence in God right here. I have my hiding place right here. I'm going to stay right here. And in this time of testing, I shall see his face right here. And I'll tell you, beloved, if David saw the face of God, I believe we will too. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What was true for David is true for us. It is true for April. It is true for Michelle. It is true for Danielle. It is true for Rachel. It is true for Tara. 
It is true for Nikki. It is true. And that's what's so beautiful about David because he, he did, you know, he, he, he met with God right through the storm and in the middle of the chaos. And what he did is he sang his way to steadfast. It's the song of the steadfast heart, the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. And then he said, I'm the one with the steadfast heart, and this is now my song. And so when I sing Psalm 11, I'm singing the words of David. But now, guess what? It's my song. It's Julie's song. Guess what? It's Rachel's song. It's Cheryl's song. It's Michelle's song. It's Nikki's song. It's Diane's song. It's um, Terry's and Celine's and Tara. It's Kayla's song. It's Sarah's song. Every single one of you, it's, 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 Mike, it's Michelle's song. It's Michael's song. Mm, I'm going to sing that again. So I lift my eyes to the Lord, and here is faith. I'm confident in times of testing. It's here I see. So God, Judy, you're going to see his face. Sandy, you're going to see his face. Topeka, Kansas is going to see his face. Daniel, you're going to see his face. So I lift my eyes to the Lord, and here is faith. that you want to sing right here. I want to give you two things to sing. This right here. I have made the Lord my only hiding place. And this is why I sing. And this is where I'll stay.
It's the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. I am the one with the steadfast heart, and this is my song. And you know when you start singing it, you do what David did. Start singing when you're still afraid. Start singing before you actually feel like your heart is steadfast because that was a key that David taught us over and over. He literally sang his way out of fear and to God, sang his way out of fear and to faith. He just started the song right where he he was. So if you're like, I can't sing that because my heart doesn't feel like I'm steadfast, good, because I don't always feel that too. But you know what? That's where we open the Bible, because I can believe what the Word of God says, and the Word of God says Psalm 11. And David wrote it down, so I'm going to agree with the Bible. I'm going to agree and I'm going to sing. Before I feel steadfast, I'm going to sing. I'm the one with the steadfast heart and this is my song. Because I'll tell you what, when you keep singing or saying these words out loud, they have to go forth. They have to go out. It is impossible for these words not to go forth and touch you wherever you are in the earth. Or if you don't feel steadfast, that's, that's where you literally stand in front of a mirror and sing it right over or decree it right over yourself. Those words are alive and full of living power and they will go forth and they will begin to create in your soul this steadfastness. They will begin to heal in your body sickness. I mean Psalm 103, I will not forget your benefits. You forgive all my sin. You heal all my disease. Those words have to go forth. They have to be Begin to heal. It's the living word of God. We need to use this weapon as our battle. This is our greatest. This is how we fight our battles. Say the word of God out loud. It was never meant to be read silently. It was meant to be read out loud and decreed loud. Amen. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go right to Psalm. fighting sickness, and I just believe the, the word of God. And David, D David actually wrote Psalm 30, and all we know is that what David writes in Psalm 30, and I'm singing pretty much out of the Passion Translation, David says, literally, I was one breath away from the grave. I mean, listen to this. He says, he said, um, I will exalt you. You have lifted me out of the depths. He says, you brought me back from the brink of death and drew me out of many waters. You pulled me out of the depths below. You rescued me. When no one else could rescue, when there was no one else, then literally, what happened is when David said, there's no one else that can help, he cried out to the Lord. And he wrote Psalm 30. He, he, he is um, thinking back over his life about all the times that God touched him and healed him and rescued him. And I'll tell you what, again, Psalm 30. Hello, Anna Blanc, my songbird friend. Psalm 30, a Psalm of David. And I still believe. David wrote it down, so Michelle, you can sing it out. I believe, I believe that David wrote it down so we could sing it out. And the very same God that healed David when man could not help him is the very same God that will heal us. 
the confidence in his words. Psalm 30, verse 2. Dada, oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. Oh Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. Oh Lord, my healing God, I cried out. this prayer because he ends it by saying some translations say you could never be praised enough some others say I could never praise you enough and it's like the overflowing of thankfulness in David's heart and he writes that beautiful verse in Psalm 30 the very last verse and you could never be praised enough Done. You could never be praised enough. Can you say that tonight? 
could sing it this way and I could never praise you enough and I could never praise you enough for all that you have done I could never praise you enough oh. and I could never praise you enough for all that you so that we can sing it out. And you know what? We start, we sing Psalm 30, even before the healing. We sing it out. Well, I, I, David taught us over and over to just start the song, even if you don't feel the emotion, even if you don't feel steadfast. Sing Psalm 11. I'm the one with the steadfast heart, even before the healing. You are my healing God. I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. I believe the word of God is powerful and full of living power. It is alive. And when we sing it and pray it and say it out loud, that it doesn't just like drop to the floor or swirl around in my room. I just believe in my history in God just tells me that when we sing the Bible, word for word, when we sing it, that these words go forth and they go out, that the Holy Spirit cannot be contained in my little room, that literally it, it, it goes out to wherever you are in the earth, wherever you are in whatever state you are in, and these words begin to create they begin to heal. They begin to strengthen your body because I believe the Word of God is going viral. You can't stop the Word of God. And that's what's so beautiful.
beautiful and what's so powerful about it is I can just sit in my little tiny room. Like my studio is, is like, it's, it's a closet. I'm literally in my closet between the bathroom and my closet right here. And you know what? It's just me and Jesus. But I can open my Bible and I can turn, I can just press Facebook Live and sing word for word the scripture and it's not me I mean it's not like oh I was healed because you were singing no you were not healed because I was singing you were actually healed and strengthened and encountered because the word of God just went through my mouth and to wherever you are and begin to touch you because it's not about the person singing it I'll tell you what it is about the power of the word of God so powerful. The Word of God is so powerful. So let me give you a couple of uh, choruses for you to sing if you need healing in your body. Psalm 30. You know, uh, Michelle, we're, we're singing this, decreeing it over, over Noah. I'm singing it over, you know, my, all my friends because I just believe what the Bible says. I just believe what it says. But here's our first one, and it's from the Passion Translation, and he writes, For you have made me triumph. You have made me win. You made me a winner. You have made me triumph, God. You have made me win. I'll tell you what, if you don't feel like a winner, that's great because that just means you need to sing this because it's not about, oh, I've got to wait. I've got to wait and start singing, you know, when I'm more encouraged. No, you just start singing right through your brokenness and you sing your way straight to Jesus. You start the song when you don't feel like a winner. You start the song when accusations is coming in because that's how you stop those accusations and we want to cut them off because nothing compares to the power of the Word of God that is alive and full of living power and it goes forth and it creates and it heals and it strengthens and it stirs up the heart and it stirs up a love sickness for God it's the power of the Word and if I can just get you all to just go around wherever you are singing and saying the word of God out loud, I tell you what, the, the scope of the reach of the word of God is endless. And this is what's so beautiful. We don't have to be all stirred up and full of faith before we start the song. Start when you have no faith. Start when you're hopeless. Start when you're depressed. Just start right then because it's literally what David did and every single time he sang his way to hope and peace and encourage. He was his own. He was his own encourager. There was no one else to encourage him but the word of God. And the word of God wants to do the very same for you tonight. Judy and Sarah B. Sing, sing. If you feel broken, guess what? So did David. Start right there. And all you got to do is open the word. You don't have to come up with your own words. Just open the psalms and sing out those psalms. If you don't feel like a winner, guess what? Hey, I got a song for you. Psalm 30. For you have made me triumph. And you have made me win. You've made me a winner. You have made me me triumph, God, and you have made me win. Oh, and here's our next chorus. Oh, Lord, my healing God, I cried out for a miracle. Oh, Lord, my healing God, and you healed me. Oh, Lord, my healing God, I cried out. Then 
we can sing out the very last scripture of Psalm 30. And you could never be praised enough. And you could never be praised enough. Do me a favor, press the share button tonight. Share, 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 so that Psalm 11 can go out. Psalm 30, I sang Psalm 11, Psalm 30, word for word. It's not my words, it's the word of God. So it has to go forth. It has to do what it says it will do. Psalm 11, a psalm that David wrote, uh, and he needed a steadfast heart without fear and he writes it's it this is the song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart and then he writes I'm the one with the steadfast heart and this is my song and then we sang Psalm 30 which is a a song it's like a decree from heaven a healing psalm that David wrote when he was one breath away from the grave. And God reached down and pulled him out and saved David when he could not save himself. And I believe if he, if he did it for David, he's going to do it for you. Darkus, my friend from Florida, He's going to do it for you. And Sarah Brown and, hi, Sherry Mays, my cousin. It's so good to see you. And Rob Peck and Sassy. Sassy, I love your name. Uh, Sassy, I think you got a lot of fire. And God is going to visit you. Oh, my gosh. I just see that there is a, there's a strong flame in your heart, Sassy. And I see the Lord just, like, pouring gasoline on it where I mean he is gonna light you from the inside out man I I just I, I just see I just see fire 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 within and all around you with in, in, in Jesus name I just I just believe it I believe it hello Leonard God bless you Leonard Hayes and Tara and Sarah B and God bless Judy. Okay, so here's our choruses for tonight. Mm, our first song is Psalm 11. David writes, I have made the Lord my only hiding place. And this is where I'll sing. And this is where I'll stay. The song of the steadfast one with the steadfast heart. I am the one with the steadfast heart, and this is my song. So if you need hope, if you need a hiding place, if, if you need that steadfastness in your heart, sing out Psalm. 11. It has to work. It has to go forth. Um, and here's Psalm 30. If you need a healing in your body, Psalm 30 is for you. Here's your a couple choruses. For you have made me triumph. And you have made me win. You've made me a winner. You have made me triumph. If you don't feel like a winner, well, then guess what? That's when you need to sing it. 
because it's the word of God. That's from the Passion Translation. God, you have made me triumph. So just say those words out loud because they will begin to work in your mind. They will begin to work in your soul. I think the quickest on-ramp to get the word of God inside is to sing it because when we sing we sing from our diaphragm we sing from our core and if you've ever worked out with a you know trainer what do they do they strengthen your core everything's about your core strengthen your core we're going to strengthen your core we're going to do exercises from your core lift from your core move from your core do everything from your core and you know what we can sing the Bible and these words, it's like they get way down into our soul and into our core because we're using our diaphragm and it's like an easy on-ramp to get the word of God on the inside and that's where you come alive. Even when it's hard, that's where you have faith to believe. Guess what? He's made me to triumph. God's made me a winner. I believe it because he said it. So I like to say, don't just memorize the word, be the word. Carry the word with you wherever you go in a very easy on-ramp. Even if you say, I'm not a singer, it's not about singing. It's about bringing the word of God alive. I think every single person should sing the word. Mm. I like to say, you might not make the worship team, but you will get breakthrough 100%. So here we go. For you have made me triumph, God. You have made me winner. You made me a winner. You have made me triumph, God. And you have made me win. And here's our chorus. Mm. Oh, Lord, my healing God. Joshua and Sarah and is it Elaine and Katrina and Judy and Jill Um, hey everyone and Sassy I want to meet you I love your name and Penny and Sherry my cousin so fun to get on here and see my friends and my family so okay Psalm 11 Song of the Steadfast Psalm 30 our healing God sing these songs be your own chief encourager. Amen and amen. Hey, press your share button. Share, share, share so that Psalm 11 and Psalm 30 
go out all over social media so that the word goes out because it is alive and full of living power. Um, and if you like those psalms, check out our link at intotheriver.net where we are singing our way through the psalms. Uh, we have recorded Psalm 1 through Psalm 51. This month we recorded Psalm 91 because of this crazy season. And we are bringing the Psalms into our everyday life, praying them, saying them, singing them, decreeing them, walking in the breakthrough and the benefits of these psalms because I think the psalms are battle plans on how to fight our battles on the earth. And uh, anyway, anyway, so God bless you. Check out intotheriver.net. And hey, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow.